That was good. I think that was pretty good. That was yeah, good. That was pretty good. Guys. All right. Well, welcome to the Slide Podcast. Uh, I'm your host, Coach Aaron, and today we are joined with Banana Jake. Sir, so, how are you? Good. Awesome. Lila Brickwall Bratch, ma'am. How are you doing? Doing good. Doing good. All right. Well, it's been a minute since we recorded together, specifically us three. So got a lot mm -hmm. of catching up to do. I've had some people ask about Jake and how he was doing. And obviously we got to talk about where Lila and I just came from. But yeah. uh, we're going to start with Jake. Jake, man, I know you, the last time I think we had you on the show, you were working on some recovery and, and getting back strong enough to take the mound yep. again. Uh, I got cleared two weeks ago, a week ago. And I've been just doing okay. my throwing program, and I feel good. Awesome, arms feeling strong. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's don't let's don't hurt anything yet. But we got to keep that for at the <laughs> end of your career, if if only if needed. Okay. Yes, just just put it back at the end. So, yeah, because Lila he can do that. So yeah. Anyway, um, what else is going on in your world, Jake? School started back. How's school going? Uh, it's just a lot of stuff because I'm in seventh grade, and it's a lot different. Oh, yeah. You, are, you know, you're switching classes now and all that fun stuff? Yeah. Well, I did it last year, but yeah. last year was easy because it was in one building. Now I'm in, like, two different buildings. Oh, wow. Were you, like, yeah. super stressed and nervous first day back? Kind of. <laughs> yeah. My first year of middle school, too, was kind of easy because it was uh, one teacher for two classes at a time, so it was pretty easy. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I think seventh grade for me was when, like, all the class changes started. We had lockers. I had to, like, remember my combination all those crazy things. So, oh yeah, I rem I remember that anxiety. I definitely do. Yeah, all right, you got you got good teachers though. Yeah. Yeah. You don't got anybody you want to throw under the bus yet on the show. Mm -mm, not yet. All right. If you start getting too much homework, then you just let us know, and we'll, we'll, we'll make sure <laughs> to put some pressure on. Okay. <clears throat> all right, Lila. Man, what have you been doing? Nothing since banana ball, really. Banana ball. I forgot about yeah. that. Psych. So, no, you like, didn't. I know you had a great time. So, for me yeah. to say, Lila, did you have a good time? That would be like one of those silly reporter questions you see on TV. But, yeah. Uh, like, like, what do you remember most from it? Just that it's a whole different experience. Dancing. Friggin' smashing the water balls together. The walkout. That was, that was so fun. <laughs> whole new experience everything was so fun about it yeah i'm gonna tell you jake i got to meet lila for the first time um that was the first time we met in person um which was incredible i got to meet all the girls um, and mm -hmm. i got to watch these girls play now i'm gonna tell you all right i've watched all the videos i've, I've spoke to them i know they're they got like a strong head game and on video it looked like they had a pretty strong, like, ball game. But to see it with my own eyes, blown away. The blown away, Really Jake. good. It was, uh, it was impressive. So I have to say, like, you know, Lila, I can say with 100% with like confidence that Lila holds her own behind that plate. <laughs> Like she did, she did. Hey, what was some what was some fun stuff that you saw out and around the park, Lila, that caught your attention? Um, when I was walking around after my first game, like waiting for my second game, I saw that the Mario umpire he was doing backflips and stuff over there. I thought that was cool. He was yeah, pretty cool. Yes. Blue Lou, yeah, yeah. He's a he's a previous guest on the show with us, and um, mm -hmm. like when we started doing all of this stuff, I he was the first ump that I called. And I was like, look, dude, here's the dates. We haven't released it yet. You got to be quiet, but you better go ahead and put this on your calendar. And yeah. um, like, you know, it was, it was so cool, Jake, even like your, your traditional umpires, like those dudes were dancing and mm -hmm. like, all right, I'm going to tell you one of the best walk-ups that I saw. And I saw so many. And if I don't mention your walk-up right now, 
Like, please don't take it personal. This is just the one that's top of mind. All right. Have you kids seen Magic Mike? Mm-hmm. You have? Lila, you've seen Magic Mike? Oh, my goodness. Well, I was hoping the answer was going to be like, who is Magic Mike? All right. Well, and since you guys know, all right, I'm walking through the complex, right? Like, there's, I'm right in the middle of, like, this quad kind of setup, and um, all of a sudden, I heard the song, Come On, The Pony. You know that? Mm. You know what song I'm talking about? Yeah. All right. Lila, can you sing it? I'm not singing it. <laughs> I was just asking. Anyway, so it's this song that they use in Magic Mike that's notorious for other things. But I heard this music come on and I had to stop and like find out which field it was coming from. And this dude comes running out in like this uh, reflective vest, rips the vest off, jumps up on the fence, the backstop, and just starts dancing. And I'm telling you, <laughs> it was uh we got to see imaginations this weekend that's how i'll leave it is that you know we got to see what imaginations look like with kids and i'm gonna tell you i i know um viro and gillum our coaches they learned a lot jake we were put in situations that the big bananas have never <laughs> been in before literally on the fly in the middle of a game i'm on the phone with coach gillum at progressive field yeah. saying here's what's going on. How do we want to approach it? Like literally we're coming up with rules. Like we had games going um, round three in the showdown. They were repeating round three cool. in the showdown. Like it was, we had a ground rule double with the bases loaded during in round three. We've never had that before in banana ball, like just stuff like that, man. It was, uh, it was crazy. It was insane. It was the most chaotic, chaotic fun you could have, man. It was, it was a blast. Jake, you're going to be there next. Yep. So mm -hmm. you got to get that walkout perfected. Yeah. Um, you know, you got a theater background, so, you know, you got some high, you got some high expectations already. So, and, and Lila and the girls, the dancing that they did, like they did uh cartwheel pitching, mm -hmm. um, there was a trick that they did where both pitcher and the catcher wore catcher's gear out. Um, and during the, during the inning, they switched positions. Like it was like all this stuff is like, we could do that. Bill LaRoy should do that. Like, you know, it was just, it was amazing. So anyway, enough about banana ball because we're going to talk about it later tonight on live, but um, yeah. let's get to our guest. Jake, since you know this dude, I'm gonna let you introduce him. Okay. Um, I mean, Dalen, if you want to introduce yourself, you can. <laughs> All right. I, I put you on the spot, Jake. I put you on the spot. Dalen McCats. This dude hails out of Jacksonville, Florida, obviously representing PG. Um, and, uh, that must mean he's a pretty good baseball player, man. Dalen, what's going on, man? Uh, nothing but fun. Um, just came back from Select Fest. Uh, school is pretty. It, it's all right right now. <laughs> so school. Not. when did school start back for you? It started back this Monday. Okay. Now, were you excited to go back to school or were you like, oh, I got to get up early? <laughs> Getting up early <laughs> was not a good idea. That's me. That's me, dude. Well... Oh, you got any teachers we want to put out there already because they're giving you crazy work? No. <laughs> all right. Well, you come back and see us if you, if they start doing that mess. So, all right, dude. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. I, you know, we, we know you're from Jacksonville. Tell us how old you are, who you play with, and uh, tell us uh, who your favorite baseball player is. I play for TBT National. I am 12 years old, and my favorite baseball player is Ronald Acuna Jr. Gotcha. Okay. Is that, that's a pretty good baseball player, yeah. right, guys? Yeah. I'm just kidding. I know exactly well, who that is. <laughs> Not really right now because he's injured, but. Yeah. yeah. How long is he out for? He's for the rest of the uh, season. That's what I thought I heard. Yeah. I don't even know what it was. ACO. I know my mom's mad though. My mom's mad right now because she's a Braves fan. She keeps saying, "When's Acuna gonna come back?" 
Uh, she'll see him next season if it's his ACL. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dalen, man, so uh, you play for TBT. Um, you must play with Preston Chapman. Yes, sir. Yeah, he's a pretty good dude, right? Oh, yeah. All right, I had him on the show, too, so I got to make sure I keep him in line as well. I, we stay in touch, so... Um, all right, man. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna start you off with a with an easy question here, and then we're just gonna start chatting, Dalen. So, baseball's a hard sport. I ask this to all most all our guests, man. Why baseball, man? It's so hard. Well, baseball. So, my first everything I picked up was a baseball bat, and then after that, I fell in love with it. I used to play park ball. That and then once I grew out of that, I went to a team called the Siege. And after the Siege, I went to TVT National. And baseball's fun. It's a humbling sport, but once you get past that humbling stage, you, you're you going to have fun. It's always oh, fun. Oh, yeah. You said it right right there, man. It's a humbling sport. And it will continue to humble. And I think that's what... Um, that's what the big league players have understood is like this game is going to humble me probably every night in some way, yeah. shape or form. So, you know, it, it's it's definitely hard. Jake, it's hard. I know, man. What do you think about this dude? Um, So he went to the PG Select Fest, which is one of the biggest perfect game events of the year. Uh. What was your your favorite experience from the Select Fest? Uh, probably the game because there was a lot of action and I got to see some of my friends hit home runs. Yeah, I saw like Marrero. He hit the one like right down the line. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was foul, but <laughs> <laughs> was that was that against you? No, I'm. He was on East too, so. Oh, okay. Let me ask you guys something. I'm going to give Tony Harper the, his moment here. Like, what makes PG so special? Probably just, like, when you play PG, you get a lot more action than probably do in other tournaments or, like, other organizations for baseball. Gotcha. Okay. Dave, what do you think? I think he just gives a great experience. He put the tournaments are well put together and like all state and PG Select Fest, you get a lot of stuff. So mm -hmm. I, they they take care of you from the beginning, right? So when you walk into your room, I've seen all these videos. Like I seriously want to come sign up to play in a PG tournament. But <laughs> Like, all these beds are covered and all of this, like, swag gear. And you even got some, like, wrist guards and shin guards. And I, I see all that stuff. Is that what is that what they do to get you, Dalen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Well, I, I know the competition's got to be up there. Like, you know, not just everybody comes to play in a PG tournament. So how do you usually stack up with that competition, Dalen? You pretty good? Yeah, I just usually play my game. If I get too outside of my game, I'm not – just always stay in your game. Don't try to do too much. Gotcha. Well, um, what positions do you play? I play center, first, and pitcher. All right, give me – which one's your top? If you could play it all the time, what would it be? Center. Center? I just had a feeling you were going to go pitcher for some reason. I like Why? pitcher. But center field's always been fun. Well, being a pitcher and a center fielder, that tells me you must have a strong arm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look, those are two positions. I mean, you're using that arm differently, of course, but got to have a strong arm. So, Lila, you back with us? You good? Yeah, my phone always overheats. I need to get like a computer or something to do it For on real? every single episode. I know, and it causes I'm me, just... like, so much time editing. Just cause a lot. Just cause a lot. Anyway, all right, well, Jake, hit us with your first question for this dude. So you pl you pitched against Pottstown, and um, Pottstown 
is like the best kids in the nation on one team. What was going through your mind when you were pitching or hitting? Uh, when I was pitching, it was just like <laughs> these kids are huge. And just <laughs> work the, just work them away and make them hit. Yeah. How'd you do against them? Uh, I gave up seven runs, but other I have there was like two errors in that game. It it was a fun game. I went one for one, and so it was just. Well, I, look, I know that Pottstown team is stacked. Like, they just walk up in there and, like, people are looking at them. Yeah. Right? How, how does that feel when you see them on your schedule? Well, if we wanted them that whole tournament, and so everyone was hyped in the tournament. for At one point, it was tied, but then it just broke away in one inning. So. Gotcha. Yeah, we've had there was some kids that we've had on the show before on that team. Some pretty good dudes, pretty good dudes. Well, that's good, man. I like to hear you like competition. Cuz I mean, again, you talked about humbling earlier like you know, you any given day it could come. So, all right, Lila. This dude is completely decked out in PG, but what you got for him? All right, I don't know if you've asked him this yet, but it's going to come up sooner or later. I don't know if it already has. Because my phone overheated, of course. But what's your favorite football team? <laughs> oh, God. I would probably go the Eagles because Jalen Hurts. Man, That's they're trying to get rid of Jalen Hurts. Because this guy ran about the Dolphins. I was thinking <laughs> well, you I'd just, go with it sooner or later. You just queued it up. Like, she did. She did. Look, dude, you live in the state of Florida. Like, I know you don't want to pull for the Jags because, well, they're just the Jags. <laughs> and then you got the Bucks. They're like boring. Like, what? But then you have the Miami Dolphins. That's where you should be put. That's where you should put in your loyalty, man. Stay. You got to stay in that state of Florida, Jalen. He didn't no. throw the phone down. He got so mad at me. He threw the phone down real quick. <laughs> That's all right. That's okay. Well, you know, I'll do my best to convert everybody to Dolphin fans, and it's, it's okay. Thank you, Lila, for queuing me up for that one. Uh, yeah. Miami Dolphins, that one goes out to you. Uh, <laughs> well, dude, look, it, do you play just baseball, or do you play any other sports? Well, I play other sports for fun, but I, the only sport I really take serious is baseball. Okay. What other sports you play? Football. Uh, basketball, and you, on my own time, I like to golf sometimes. Hmm. Golfer? I don't know if we've had too many golfers on the show. Mm-hmm. Not that I remember. So, you must have a lot of patience, because I can't, dude, I don't even like playing putt putt. Like, I get <laughs> so mad at the ball, like, like oh my goodness, I'm, I go happy <laughs> on on the mini golf course. <laughs> Like, it, it just, go home, ball. But, you know, and I do my best. But, yeah, playing, playing like, big golf, big people golf, man, I last about six, seven holes, and I'm bored. <laughs> but, so now you, you play football and basketball. Now, is that during, like, your off-season of baseball? Do you have an off-season of baseball? No off-season. <laughs> no off-season. All right, baseball for life, huh? Yes, sir. So, do you get a chance to go play some flag or play some tackle, or you just play around a neighborhood with kids? I just, well, I used to take used to play flag. Um, I, it was like seven or eight. After that, I just play, just play with my friends. Okay. Well, look, here's what I'll tell you, man. I've talked to a lot of scouts and a lot of coaches. They like an athlete, man. And, um, you know, football teaches your body different ways to move and adjust, and it helps the flexibility. And, you know, basketball, of course, like that's time, rhythm. Like there's good skills to be learned in those other sports, man, to have some fun with them. Lila plays basketball. Mm-hmm. Like, you, Lila, you going to play some flag football maybe sometime? I haven't played flag football since I was like eight years old. I don't know if I'd be any good at it. but Oh, my gosh. I might- don't you- 
just try, just try. Yeah. Look, it's going to be in the Olympics in LA yeah. in 28. You could show out. Mm -hmm. I watched. <laughs> She's like, mm hmm. Oh, well. I'm trying. I'm trying here, Jake. I Help might, me out. Save me. I, I, ask this dude. I might try out for the song. flag football team for my school. Yeah. yeah. Oh, your school has flag yeah. football? Oh, wow. We don't have that around here. That's cool. You know, I used to hate on flag football. I'll be honest. Last, uh, this time last year, I was telling my son, like, if you're going to play football, you're going to play the real thing. Just <laughs> like probably all the other dads that's out there. But you know what? Like, there's a time and place for tackle, depending on, you know, how, where you are in your growth and like what your skill sets are. In some cases, flag is better. Like, I'm going to tell you, we played a season of tackle football. We threw the ball maybe twice. So skill <laughs> positions didn't get a lot of work. Um, we also didn't even like, I, 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 well, whatever. I'm not going to, I'm not going to throw anybody on the bus, but we didn't really coach the quarterbacks to how to throw right. Um, I guess I did just throw somebody under the bus, but they don't listen anyway. Anyway. So yeah, I, I like flag now. I think flag's pretty good for yeah. kids. And, um, you know, I've learned. I continue to learn, guys. All right. And I changed my mind. So, all right, Dalen. I'm all, here's what we're going to do. Let's reverse this. Dalen, do you have any questions you want to ask Jake? Mm. Ask him a hard one. Um, how, right. did, you, I, I how you did you injure your arm? Um, so I first injured my what is something in my shoulder. My my my, my growth plate. First. My growth plate. I fractured my growth plate in my shoulder and we think it was from overuse. And then I came back and then in the World Series in Atlanta I threw a pitch and I felt something in my arm and I was out for six weeks and I got back. That's a good question, man. It, now, now, you've pitched against Jake, right? What's he like pitching against him? Is he intimidating? Mm hmm Is yeah. he? It, he gives you like a mean mug when you're up there on the mound? Like, bring it to me. Just bring it. When you're catching him, he's intimidating. Really? Why? Is this like the way he looks at home plate when he like comes set? And then... Yeah. He's just locked in. Yeah. All right. Hey, Jaden. Jay, I'm going to keep calling you Jalen. I'm going to go ahead and apologize. Dalen, that, that, I, I take that as a compliment, man. How do you take that? A <laughs> compliment? <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you a question. All right, so we just got back from Banana Ball. What if you were on the mound and you smiled at every batter? What would you do? What would that do to a batter? Yeah. What if the pitcher smiles at you, Jake? I would. How what you how you feeling? I would probably get out of the batter's box. Really? Yeah. Look at that. I'd be even more scared if they're just smiling at you. <laughs> but why not? Can you imagine know, the hitter going like... back to the, the hitter going back to the dugout? Damn, he he struck me out and he's smiling at me. <laughs> I remember there was a time and some kid smiled when I was in the batter's box because he was trying, like, a new pitch to throw, and then I hit a home run. Uh-huh. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Hopefully he still smiled after he threw the pitch, but, oh, wait a minute. That wasn't Dalen, no. was it? Oh, okay, okay. Dalen, I heard he took your yard. Yeah. I don't, I don't know did. how, though. Did Did you just give him one? You were just like, let me, let me let this kid get a hit. Is that what you did? No. No, I I was giving him an easy way out. Like I just threw him a big fatty over like the Like the pitch was like <laughs> two feet outside, and then I pulled it, and then I hit it out. You pulled an outside pitch. Well, I can wow. really tell. Wow, Lila, I I think that should be like your thing. I think you should tell jokes to every batter that walks up Ooh. behind the plate, like. Look, you got to break them out. Like, Dalen talks about being locked in. If we can get a kid out, you know, uncomfortable, ooh, 
like maybe walk up as a batter and uh, <laughs> smile at the pitcher. I don't know. I, I, that might be dangerous there. I don't know. Banana, Banana Jake, would you do that? Would you walk up, smile at the pitcher, him sitting there holding that ball? Uh, yeah. You would? Sounds like something we should try. I think I think we should get parents involved, and we're going to need to see what intimidation looks like. But we're going to do the opposite of intimidation. We're just going there to was, fun. There was nah. some kid at the Select Fest on the West. I don't remember his name, though. But I watched him at the Beast of the East, and every single at bat that he had, he smiled at the pitcher before. Hey, look, I'm going to tell you. Like, sometimes people, like, it's hard for them to deal with people being nice to them. Like, what's up with this dude? What does he know that I don't know? Like, then you're going to start making him think, oh, does he think he know what pitch I'm about to throw? Like, all of this stuff. But anyway, Dalen, you got you got an intimidating stare down. What's your pitches, man, on the mound? Fastball, curveball, changeup, slider. Okay. Wish your wish the... What's the pitch of choice? Fastball. Fastball. I like that. That just means he's confident in his speed and his location. Mm. Like, look, I'm going to talk for the young kids out there. Uh, well, let's hear it from you, you guys. What would you tell a kid that's just going into kid pitch um, about pitching? If they're nervous about pitching, what would you tell them to focus on? I'm going to give this one to Jake. What would you say? Mechanics. Just work on your mechanics, and then the speed will come later. Oh, you're using a big word there, mechanics. Are we working on a car now? What's mechanics? <laughs> like, going through, like, your motion. Like, just go with, like, the flow, <clears throat> and then speed will come with, like, strength later. There you go. What well, So... In order to get a stronger arm on the mound, what kind of workouts do you? Is it just you just work out with your arms, or do you work out anything else? Um, there's like a new trainer where I go, and mm -hmm. he works legs and arms, like in one day. Mm. Lila, why would we work legs for pitching? Because your power comes from the ground. Ooh, I'm learning some stuff here. This is cool stuff. So I, I should definitely focus on obviously running, getting some cardio in, right? If I'm if I'm a young pitcher. Um wanna do some squats. Wanna do like really, really work out those legs. Nothing that's gonna hurt me, but get those legs stronger. Especially if you want to catch too, right, Lila? Yeah. Like how do you take care of your legs? Because you're behind the plate a lot. Uh nothing really specific. I just well, I'll go do gym workouts, obviously. I like work the quads, calves. You got to work all the leg muscles. Recovery, mostly just my massage gun. After games, I'll just get my massage gun, get it all fixed up, and I'm pretty much good. Gotcha. What about you, Jake? How do you, how do you, because you, you're behind the plate some too. How do you take care of them knees? Um, Mark Pro. Mark Pro. Who's he? Um, they. <laughs> Yeah, it's so funny because I'm asking you questions. I know you know that I know. I know you know that I know that I know. So, Mark Pro, this is cool device that we've talked about on the show before, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so that helps you with your recovery too, mm -hmm. huh? What that guy told me on the phone, Tim, he must have been telling me the truth. I think it, so. It helps. Dalen, what do you do for recovery, man? Like after a long game or maybe a, a long weekend? Like, how do you recover? Um, mainly ice. I heard somebody say ice. Somebody, yeah. somebody told you ice. <laughs> yeah, I usually do ice, and after that, I'm good. <laughs> now, do you just wrap up a big ice bag and throw it on the shoulder, arm, legs, or are you get in an ice tub? Uh, just put some arm on my ice, and maybe sometimes after that, if I'm not feeling the best, I'll put a tiger bomb. I got you. He put some arm on his ice. I like that. I like yeah. that. Because if I use that as a clip, Dalen, everybody in the world would go crazy because you just reversed those. But I think it's hilarious. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> Have okay. a bucket of ice. It, it, dude, I I just knew. I knew exactly where he was going, man. I knew exactly. Well, um, Lila, I know you got I know you got more questions there. We don't have to talk about Miami Dolphins anymore. What you got? 
All right, so I know you have four siblings, right? Yeah. Uh, I also have four siblings, and growing up, I've been really competitive with them, and that has affected my gameplay. Does that really, does having siblings affect your competitiveness? Yeah, my little sister, I always, I play with her, and every time I play with her, I always want to be there. Yeah, no mercy. <laughs> How old is she? Eight. What? Man, you trying, to, man, she's eight. Man, you better let her win some. No, I'm good. Hey, Aaron, fun. have you ever seen the picture of me at 4th of July at the watermelon eating contest? No, and there's just so. all the little kids lined up next to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> my watermelon. It's so oh, funny. Oh, my goodness. Dalen, man, you got to let that girl win. Let her, let her know what it feels like to be her big brother. There's no chance. <laughs> no? No mercy? No mercy. All right. Well, look, mom and dad that's over there listening, got to give her some cheat codes, something to take you out. <laughs> Something safe, though. Something safe. We don't want you getting hurt. But you know what? If, Dalen, next time I talk to you and you tell me your sister just beat you at something, she's going to be on the show. We're going to let her be on the show because we're <laughs> going to let her talk some smack. Is that all right? You going to do that? Yeah. All right. Well, look, dude, school's starting back. Um, what grade are you going into? Seventh. Seventh grade. So just like uh, Jake over here, how's school for you going? That's uh, it's good. It's just adapting to the different, uh, different work, mostly. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. That whole first week of school is annoying. Like really just figuring out like, where do I go? When do I go? And what do they need from me? So. Hey, all right. don't think it's hard right now. You're going to start getting to the letters in math. Oh, to no. the letters in math. It's like algebra is so dumb. I did that last like, year. I don't understand. Like, why is A even a part of this conversation when we're Literally. talking about one plus two? Find X. Yeah, like find like, X. I don't know. Like X is at the end of the alphabet. Like that's where it is. Like why is it over here in the math? Yeah. I, I did say. some algebra last year in sixth grade. Was it easy or hard? It's easy once you get used used to it. What about writing out all your work? Because when you get to that level in algebra, you got to write out all your work. Yeah, right? I do that now with um, like perfect squares, like perfect square roots. In... Oh, listen, let me tell you something. Lila, don't laugh at me. When I was in school, algebra was like what we were taking in like 10th and 11th grade. And you guys are taking it now. Yes, I'm old, Lila. Don't me making those faces. Right, I get you know it. What? They don't even, they don't actually count it as real algebra. It's kind of like introduction to it. But uh, my eighth grade year, this year, I'm going to do um, algebra one, so I don't have to do it in high school. There you go. Get so I'm going to have two math classes, but I think it's worth it. Oh, you know what? As an adult, I totally understand all that stuff. But as, yeah. as when I was in your shoes, I was, I was like, there's no way. I am ever going to be in a situation where I got to find this hidden number and <laughs> like never, but guess what? Oh yeah. It shows up like all the accounting stuff and the business world. Like even like I do a lot of woodworking in my garage and freaking fractions. Like they just drive me crazy, but I'm old. Dalen, what's your favorite subject, man? Math. There he is. All right. Well, listen math. to me. I'm over here ragging on math, and he's going to come up and say it's his favorite. Subject. Math is the best. Math is the easiest. I like math. I don't like algebra, but I like math because you don't have to, like, think of a specific answer in your words. You just have a yeah. one answer. That's the answer. It's definite. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look. Y'all, y'all just done made me feel like I'm. I should go sit in the back of the class because I was the only one that didn't like math. <laughs> <laughs> math and now, see, I liked English. I liked English. You guys like ELA? Yeah. ELA might no might. Now I liked it. I just didn't pay in as much of attention as I should because still today <laughs> I, I have to rely on my spell checker and all those fun things. But I'm getting better. I'm getting better as I get older. My vocabulary is growing. I'm going to tell you, like all of this stuff that makes no sense right now, 
will 100% benefit you as you get older. It may make zero sense right now. Focus and listen. Because, Dalen, if you, you, I'm assuming you want to play ball in college, right? Yeah. Where are you going to play? This is a big question. Florida here. State. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> you done picked my arch rival. Florida State? I would have rather you said the Gators. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh my goodness! I'm a, hur- I'm a Hurricanes that. fan. Mm-mm. Ew, Hurricanes is crazy. Man, if I had an eject button, I'd send all y'all out right now. <laughs> hey, That's you don't like up. the Dolphins? You don't have the same college as you? That's crazy. You're about I to get know kicked it. off. So this dude like showed up as a rival already. Moved. To- um, <laughs> All right, tell me why Florida State, because I'm going to listen to you, and I'm going to forget all the bad stuff that I just feel about that college. But tell me why Florida State. Well, Florida State's been a good college. It's been a good baseball team for a long time. Okay. Uh, they got a good softball team. You can go play softball there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I know some of the players there. I know some coaches, and – I. I just like Florida, and I'm going to just stay there. I like it in Tallahassee. So. Oh, man. You got to go South Florida, man. Go to the U. <laughs> go to the U, man. Look, I am all, I'm full force trying to recruit here for South Florida. They just got to have some performance so that people actually believe me. If you like everything <laughs> Miami. That campus is like a. If you like every. Well, I try to. Like, well, when I was growing up, I liked big, bold, proud. Like, that was just what I was attracted to. And, you know, the Miami Hurricanes, man, we just, I said, no, I didn't say we. They, they just were an unstoppable machine. And even in baseball, they were pretty good. So, for Florida State, man. <laughs> At least uh, I like the Miami Marlins a little bit. Oh, well, no, I, I don't, I'm not even a Marlins fan. So, oh, the, the one thing, <laughs> like, Bless your heart if you're a Marlins fan. Like, Jake, <laughs> last time we talked about the Marlins, I, if I'm not mistaken, you just said the Marlins suck. This, well, they've gotten better the second half. <laughs> you remember that? That was like our first episode, I think, after MLB had started. Yeah. And uh, we're like, Jake, how's the Marlins doing? Well, they suck. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right, man. That's that's plus the best player just not sucks to the high school jazz. Ja- yeah, they Yeah. They sold well, all their players. Jazz, out. Yeah, jazz. 2017, they should have won. They just they just gave up all their players. And then what it did was they fun get for him? Uh, like some prospect, I think. Mm, he better read me like Max Clark caliber prospect or something. How's Mark, Max Clark doing? Is I mean, he's he's been up and down. How's really he doing? Good. Yeah. That's good to hear. I went to go watch um, a Lakeland Flying Tigers game the other day, and it was weird not seeing him there for like the first time in a year. Yeah. yeah. Who who you keeping your eye on, Lila? Who you think is out there in the MLB that's going to be a shooting star? Ah, uh, that's my guy Logan Clark. He's from Taft. Oh. He just got moved up to Double A. Okay, hometown boy. Yeah. All right. I think it was Double A. Maybe it was triple A. I don't know. Hey, double, triple, as long as he's moving upward. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Now, Dalen. All right. I don't. I don't have any like serious loyalties to the MLB, so you're okay on this one. So, what's your favorite MLB team? Is it the Marlins? Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Now, who is your favorite? Try the Braves. He said Ronald Acuna. Yeah. Yeah. Is it the Braves? Okay. All right. I can hang with you on the Braves. That's kind of our hometown team. That's like the closest. Um, I'm about two and a half hours out of Atlanta. So the Braves have kind of just been always there in my life. Now, do you know like old school Braves? Uh, a little, some of them. You know Greg Maddox? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, everybody has to know Greg Maddox. Jake, you know who Greg Maddox is, yes, sir. right? All right. Amazing pitcher. Nasty. Tom Glavin. Very nasty. Yeah, like Maddox didn't care. Maddox, Maddox, I think, pretty sure he could tell you what he was going to throw and still get yeah, you to miss. Yeah, the sinker. Yeah. It's nasty. His control was like pinpoint. 
Like, mm-hmm. but that goes back to like, if, if you're good at, if you're accurate and you're, you can hit those spots, man, you're controlling things. The thing about All right, Greg who, Maddox is ahead. he like the fastest pitch he's ever thrown was like 88. Yeah. What do you? Th- it wasn't speed. No. No. Um, who else we got? You ever heard of Dave Justice? Yeah. Dale? Yes, sir. Oh, Lila, you had never heard of Dave Justice? Ooh. He looks like a smaller version of Aaron. Well, he did. He looked like a smaller version of Aaron Judge. He was nowhere near Aaron Judge's, like, <laughs> just mass size. Yeah. But uh, he could swing a bat. He was a lefty. Um, had a little of that Ripken kind of swing in him. But, all right, Lila, what you got? Me? Yeah. Hold on. Good style. All right. Uh, so, I know you've been surrounded by successful athletes your whole life. Does that drive you to live up to their legacy? Yeah. I mean, meeting players that are going up to the major leagues or just just in college having fun, playing good. It's always been like I wanted to be there. What's the best advice any of those people have ever given you? Probably just never give up. <laughs> Baseball is a humbling sport. Yeah. There you go. I like that. Dude, it feels like I'm talking to like a group of like 15, 16 year olds. You guys are mature and this, this is good stuff. So good stuff. He's a pretty good pitcher, I guess. He's a center fielder. You got a cannon. <laughs> sure. He's really good. Yeah. In the outfield. Yeah. Well, here's one thing we haven't talked about. What do you like stepping into the box? I mean, you swing a pretty good bat. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I do swing a pretty good bat. I like, I don't know. Every time I go in the box, I, it's not a ritual, but I just like dapping up the catcher and the umpire. There you go. Every I'll time I, I just step in the box and have a good, make sure I have a good approach. After that, I'm good. I like it. Daps up the catcher. Huh? Gets on the good side. You tell, you tell the uh, catcher to give you something good to hit. Just call something good for me. Huh? I'm always safe. That's what you say, I'm always safe. Well, what if we told you that you could no longer step out of the batter's box or else it would be a strike? It was scary. What would what would happen, Dalen? Oh. What if I said, Dalen, if you step out of this box, it's a strike. How could you how would you handle that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, sorry, that's what we just played in, in Cleveland, Ohio this past week is banana ball, and that's one of the rules if you step out of the box. Lila, what was that like? I only had it called. I think I had it called on me once, maybe twice. Mm-hmm. But it was just weird because it was one of my first at-bats, and I had just stepped in, and usually I stepped out and, like, fixed the box a little bit you know, get resettled. I just had one foot out, and he goes, oh, strike, and I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> then, I, then I got a hit the next pitch, though, so it was fine. There you go. That was uh, that took us from getting used to, but kids did a really good job of that one. That was a good one there. Dalen, check that. this out. Check I this was... out. Fan catching a foul ball. Oh. All right, so imagine those parents out there. They showing up to the park with a ball glove. And then they strategically place the moms and the dads around the field to catch foul balls. I would go crazy if I had a foul ball. It happened, it happened to us a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> Jake, how do you think how do you think you'd do in that? Um not good. I'll just because <laughs> I saw a video of someone popping up and they caught it. Yeah. It happened, I'm going to tell you, and on championship day Saturday, they were out there in strategic locations. They yeah. were placing themselves. They were uh, they were involved. Now, we did have, of course, yes, there was a couple situations where we had some parents take it, take it to the extreme. And, yes, uh, if you're listening to this and you did that, you're an idiot. 
Um, don't really care, but we had some parents, but I'm going to tell you, man, 98% of them were, Lila, did you hear it? There was the first the game, day. the first game, like a, a parent of their own team <coughs> caught a ball, not knowing and got an out for their team against their team. <laughs> like, can right. you imagine that dad's face? Like, Hey, I just caught a ball. Great. <laughs> Now we're one out in. <laughs> All right, Daly, man, like where you see yourself in the future, man? What, what If you go to school, because let's just say you don't get drafted, all right, you want to go to Florida State, what do you want to do if if Major League Baseball is not there? Well, like what, what kind of what you're going to major in? Well, first, I'm – I really want to just start a company from the ground, just build it up. Okay. After I build it up and it's really good, I want to be a coach at a college or a high school and help gotcha. kids get chances that I didn't make. Awesome. That's good stuff, man. Like coaching, you know, that's some people's calling, man. I, I feel like Lord put a little bit of that in me, but um, that's good. That's really good. Um, Jake, what are you going to major in? I don't know if I've ever asked you that. Um, well, or I, I know we're early, but what do you think? It's a so good far? question. Cause my elective at school is careers and <laughs> what we took a test today and, um, I got actor as one of them. <clears throat> Oh, it was kind of like one of those career chooser tests, yeah. like you answer certain ways. All right. An actor. Hollywood. Man, it's too bad we don't need a good nickname for you. You'd be Hollywood. No, that would be a good nickname. <laughs> yeah. Lila, what are you thinking you're going to look at in school? Uh, I don't even know, honestly. I think, like, I think engineering is pretty cool, like building the robots and stuff. That's pretty mm -hmm. cool to me. Yeah. I was watching something on TikTok today, and there's this little dude, like a little, I would say he's a little cowboy, but he walks around explaining all this, like, farm equipment and stuff. Oh, the tractors. I've seen that, kid. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, they have remote control tractors now. And, yeah. like, they were showing him, and I'm like, wow. But the cool part is it takes someone to build it and program it. And, like, yeah. That's cool. I mean, the future, like, jobs – like the things that are out there today, and they're gonna, it's going to change so much over the next probably ten years. Like you definitely have to approach things with an open mind, and um, and technology's here, AI's here. I don't know how I feel about all of it, but it's here. All right, Dalen, we're not boring you, are we? No. Okay. Okay. All right, we're getting down to our final few questions for you, man, Jake. You got anything for Dalen? So you've won many MVP pitchers and MVP hitters or MVP. Um, how happy are you of like your accomplishment and like what does it mean to you? Well, so those things, I really don't worry about them. But when I get them, I'm happy because usually – there's so much kids that they hit home runs and stuff. That's not what I do, and they win it, win it over me. So I'm like, every time I get it, I'm surprised, happy. So That's nice. Yeah. Is somebody back there giving you, like, cue cards and telling you everything to say? Nope. Are you? Did you rehearse before you got on this call? No. All right. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Um... Got a good head on your shoulders, man. Like, you're humble to the definition, dude, and I like it. Like, I know I can tell you got a competitive side to you. Um, I mean, Jake says you're intimidating up on the mound, but, dude, I bet you, you're running circles around everyone in the outfield probably, right? Yeah. You know, center fielders like the commander. Like, you control the outfield. So, you know, I, I, I'll take your word for it, man. It looks like you're a baller. I have, uh, guys, I've, I've found another awesome ball player on this show. I'll give myself talent recruiting credit for that. <laughs> well, dude, 
Uh, thank you so much for hopping in a call with us. Lila, did you have any more questions? Not much, no. Nah. All right, well, you got a few more left before we close this thing out? I got oh. one last one that I want to ask. Yeah. That's like, because I had a couple written down, but sometimes I'm just like, no, nah, it's not really a good one. Okay. Uh, so I know you're a straight-A student. Is it easy for you to maintain your grades and keeping up with your sports? Well, so I'm homeschooled, so it's like I get to do, I get to take time off and I can re go redo it and all stuff. So it's pretty, it is pretty easy to maintain the grades right now. But as I'm getting older, it's just going to get harder and harder. Yeah. So something just dawned on me, Lila. That was a good question. So when I was talking about your teachers and anybody you want to put out there, already for giving you a lot of work that was really your mom and dad probably right <laughs> it, I, I understand why you didn't say anything but look next yeah. time you just you give us an update if they need to chill out like you just let us know man the slide's gonna come rescue you man we're gonna tell yeah. them to hold it back like chill out like yeah let, my, let mom, kid. my she, mom is she, she she drives you crazy well, man, look, at least you got the benefit of having, like, a tutor, like, in the house. Yeah. But except she can come knock on your door and wake you up anytime she wants you to to come study then. Yes, like she woke me up <laughs> at 8 o'clock today. Uh-uh, really? Yeah. You're like, Mama, just give me, like, 30 more minutes. Just 30 <laughs> more. Just give me 30. Jake, you ready to finish this thing off, man? You want to ask him our last question? Yep. All right, Daylin, I'm going to set this one up for Jake, though. All right, this is our last question that we ask everyone, and I think if I'm not mistaken, there's only been one time on this show where we forgot to mention it, and um, that was on me back in the first season. But this is the hardest question, man. It usually, like, stumps everybody, and I mean it. But I, in my, I think it's the easiest question. But, all right, Jake, set him up. So you're walking up to the plate. And everyone only has a walk-up song. What is your walk-up song? Boom. Oh, God. I have like a thousand. All right. Tell us which one matters the most. I <clears throat> I probably would do Devil is a Lie by Tommy Richmond because it just, it feel, it, the music's just good. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Okay. I think I know that one. How's yeah. that go, Dalen? Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. See, I do that on the show with everybody just to see how many people will actually sing. I tried to get you and Lila both this episode, and you guys got me, so <laughs> it's okay. All right, man. Well, look, I want to thank you very much because you could have been outside practicing, building your game. You could have been doing all the studying that your mama's making you do. Like, mama, chill out. It's only the beginning of the year. Come on now. Um, yeah, mom. Like, like sometimes he needs just an extra like few minutes to like sleep it in. He's just trying to finish yeah. off some sleep, right? Right, kids? Yeah. yeah. Like, like, come on. Like Lila and got mad and bounced out. Her mom <laughs> and took the phone from her. Um, but anyway, man, we appreciate you very much, man, because you could have been doing other things and you came hang out with us. So um tell everybody where we can find you on social media, man. How can all our listeners go look at you and, and take a look at, you know, how you show out on the field? Uh, on my, I only have Instagram, but my Instagram name is Dayla McCanns. All lowercase. Dayla McCanns. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to put that in our show notes to make sure everybody can come, come follow you. Okay. okay. All right, man. We're ready to close it out. You got any final words for us, Dayla? No, thank you for having me on. It's been a pleasure. Awesome. Well, it's been a pleasure for us as well, man. Well, we let you start the show. So, and now we're going to let you finish it. So at the end of every show, we're going to say until next time, Dalen. And then what you say is we'll catch you on the slide. You got it? Yes, sir. All right. Hold on just a second before we start it. I'm going to thank everyone for listening. So listen, thank you very much for everyone listening. I know I met a lot of listeners or fans last week in Cleveland. Thank you so much for listening. Look, I know kids, adults, um, guys, we have listeners over the ocean. Did you know that? France, Germany, Italy, um, Europe, um, Australia, um, 
obviously Canada is a big one for us. So like we got listeners everywhere and I want to thank each and every one of you guys for, you know, setting through the setting through a show. This is about kids and adding some positivity to the world. So follow us on all social media platforms. Um, please go follow us, subscribe, share to all your friends, especially if you're sitting at the ballpark and you're watching some of those moms that are just, you know, they're, they're stereotypical moms. Like, hop on, follow us, and tell us about it. Like, give us some give us some stuff to talk about on the show, and maybe you come on the show with us. So, all right. Well, before we hang it up, we only got one last thing to say, and that's until next time, Dalen. We'll catch you on the flight. On the flight? On the slide. Oh, God. <laughs> all right, we're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. All right, we got one last thing to say, Dalen, and uh, until next time. We'll catch you on the slide. We got it. We thank you for toughing it out and pushing through. Now, let's go teach the world great sportsmanship, leadership, to go inspire someone through your dedication and excitement for the game. Make sure to smash the like and follow button on all social media at the Slide Podcast Show and the Slide Pod on Twitter. Plus, leave us a review and feedback. Until next time. Until next time, we'll catch you on the slide. On the slide.